And welcome back, welcome back to Open Your Eyes. We're moving now into our third and final segment. And we've got this guy in with us, us, Tim Agus. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Stone Crab. Morning, bro. Morning. How are you? Man, still, I still feel like I had a drive. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say, everything's yeah. Stone Crab in a Dan Gringa, but it's yeah. good. Yeah, I put yeah. this morning at this <laughs> corner, yeah. The hummingbird on me, pretty this morning. It was man. beautiful. Yeah. We live in a beautiful I country. I, tell I that. could imagine. This morning, you know. Yeah. Dan, the most beautiful highway for drive. Oh, Scene, man. Scenery can't done. I could imagine. Be careful because it's too much stuff. You watch, you might crash. Yeah. But anyways, guys, you I'm home. Back? Yes, you're home indeed. <laughs> you, you know this is home for you. Yes, you know I, this is home for you. I'm home. It's been a while. Yes. I, I know that, um, you know, with all the regulations and everything, yeah. we, we, we move, we tread safely yeah. and softly. But, um, you know, I had to make a trip before the end of the year and mm -hmm. let you guys know what's happening with Tim Argus, what's happening with Stone Crab, and what's happening with the famous Ogre Stars. Stars. What I'm yeah. You have a confession to make, right? Because yeah. you, you, you dropped some off the other day. That's <laughs> what I had for lunch yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And but I, I'm noticing different flavors now. Oh, yeah. So, so, so we're, we're, we are improve, right? we are improving. We're improving. I definitely had the, the original. We're improving. We're going with some spicy. Or, we have spicy orange. Spicy orange? Yes. Uh, we have uh, the sweet and spicy, which is the original. Yeah. We have a spicy tambran or tamarind, which tamarind. is the correct name. Yeah. Spicy I say pineapple. pineapple. You All serious? Right. And like I said, these things are real fruit. They're not flavored or anything. It's I grill pineapples and put in there. The tambran is like, you know, the real tambran. Yeah, the real tambran. Yeah. Take off the nectar and put it in there. And, yeah. And, yeah. The last time you were here, Mika, just ask you quickly, I know you were trying to get them into stores. Yes. And I understand that it has been taking oh, off yeah, since yeah. then. Well, actually, we just had to make a decision to do one week of SARS now and one week of restaurant. Yeah. Because the demand is so high. Um, I am getting into Publix, Brody's, um, yeah. Bottom Dollar, yeah. uh, 88. Um, I mean, you know, all the chicken, Caribbean chicken, quality poultry, Fiesta chicken, you name it. Crab. I blind minds are brought it. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they are one of the. Team deliver mine. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 But I love it. Everybody that, that 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 up, that yes. 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 I I have I am pushing the sauce ha hard. Um, our slogan first was it's all about the sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But since COVID, no, since this year, I said I have changed it. I said. Obia sauce that saved my ASS. Because you are so right, because you had the restaurant yes, going yes. and it was, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you're doing these signature bre breadfruit dishes yeah. and it's been tough. Yeah, it's been tough. Um, yeah. We opened last year, October, so mm -hmm. officially I have one year since we reopened. I we, remember we that. Reopened, I remember. We opened during real. COVID, so this was a one year challenge for us. Yeah. So I got to say, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a year. I know it's been tough for a lot of entrepreneurs. We cry a lot, especially on social media. We, we hear the cries, but I know there's not much we can do. Yeah. But there's something we can do. Um, if, you, if you really want to get out there and do it, like, like you know, take something out that you make um, and put it out there. Yeah. People can't come to you, you take something to, them. to them. So that's what I've been doing. I, I've been going, um, it's in PG now. It's in um, San Pedro. It's um, I'm going to the Northern Districts probably next week. Mm -hmm. It's up west now at New Flags. So it's in Belmopan at several stores. It's in Dangriga, it's in Mango Creek, it's in Hopkins. Yeah. So we're spreading our wings. So if you can't come to Stone Crab, then um, at least people know they can buy a bottle of salt. Every time you Her buy one of them. Buy a double O bear right now. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. so, you know, I, I, every time I come, I, 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 I'm promoting SARS, mm -hmm. but every time I come home, you know what I use me for? Right? Like when they invite you to a party, <laughs> they tell you, tell me invite you to this party, then you call it. Like, like, no, you call it, you call G, you know? <laughs> And then when they look, they say, what's well, in the kitchen there? <laughs> no, so, but see if them, me and master, make sure you bring the breadfruit. <laughs> yes. Well, I can't come here without breadfruit. Breadfruit is actually out of season, mm. but I've been, oh. pre I've been preserving breadfruit yeah. by, by, by steaming and boiling okay. and by roasting, right? And then, oh. and, and then putting in the fridge. So if you find one or two breadfruit right now, you'll you'll be good. Okay. So when breadfruit is so how you save it? You said yes. You you, you can you can you can either um, roast it, roast it, like and, it. Uh -huh. and then and then um, plastic wrap and then put it in in the freezer or okay. in the fridge, and it can last like months. 
Okay. And then, um, or you can, like I said, pre-boil. Mm -hmm. And then also when you're ready. The only thing now, when breadfruit is at this stage, mm -hmm. you can't get those nice fries and different mm -hmm. things. Already, oh. Right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So you got to di diversify now and say you need to make something else. Mm -hmm. So breadfruit, the re breadfruit is like, it's flour. So this is what you said, this is boil. This is boil, right? And now, I know what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to transition this now to something. So that's like a do flour dough you have there, um, Marlene. That right there. That's like flour I dough. I don't even know how Tim comes up with this stuff. So what, <laughs> right, what we're going to be doing now is since we can't make breadfruit fries and breadfruit tacos and breadfruit nachos and breadfruit, breadfruit burgers, burgers. <laughs> we're going to be making some breadfruit fritters okay right and let's since, get to it and Ooh. since we gotta say welcome to the conch season uh -huh. 2021 yeah i know the fishermen are happy because conchs you know more revenue for them more yeah. job yeah it's, it's easier than the lobster yeah it's less work and it's easier storage and you know the price is more affordable so yeah uh, people can afford and kong soup. Yes, I make a kong soup. Uh, I think that's what I think. <laughs> you know, that's what I think. Yeah, I'm also just got it. You know? That yeah. was your pre game yeah. for open. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's your. Yeah. And I must say that, you know, um, yeah, yeah, it's been, although we're on lockdown, um, you know, I still try to eat healthy and, and you know yeah most most of the time they say don't trust a skinny chef or, or so but i eat and i just try to be you know <laughs> yeah 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 body ready <laughs> nerves ready and physically ready yeah you know i'm a chef i eat everything i make but i everything is a balance you gotta balance the healthy what with, you do with yeah. what you do so yeah. even on the sauce i know i'm contributing to carbs but i always tell people don't od on the sauce no you know, it's addictive um, Boy, it's well, nice. My good but, cook, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So I anyways, break that rule all the time. But so anyway, we're gonna be doing some some breadfruit. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's fritters. do it. All right. So, um, Show us. Since since this is TV, we have to speed up things. Yeah. And so we have melted some some butter, butter here. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm gonna be putting in some peppers. So we're making fritters. Yes. We're gonna. And I have some onion, garlic, onion, garlic. Here. And garlic, boy. I can't cook without garlic. Yeah. And I have some red onions here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna be sauteing those a bit. Okay. All right. And since we want to cook the fritters fast, mm -hmm. you ever try fry kong? I know. Why? Well, yeah. No. Yeah, I will try fry kong. So what? I like to pre-fry and put it in so it gets that little, you know, pre-char and everything. So yeah. Let's put so it in now. That is interesting. Okay. Now, all right. <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna be so, and then since this is almost ready to eat, mm -hmm. we want to have that almost ready, ready to, to eat. eat. Yeah. So when we put them together, it's yeah. a perfect marriage there. Ah. Perfect. I like that. Yeah. Right. So right. So we're doing this. Let me see if I'm missing anything. I don't want to miss anything. Well, I'm seasoning it up. Do you know seasoning it up? Oh, yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, Nothing yet. yet. All right. All right. Are you not Tim? It's you. So, yeah. Yes. Do it. Maybe I'll leave it at this. Okay. You know, just see. Make the thing look pretty and nice and that's our flavor. That's a big mm. knife though, bro. Oh yes. That's not a knife. This <laughs> is a knife. That's an all purpose. <laughs> Dexter. Alright, so while, while we're at this, uh -huh. I bring my traditional Masha. <laughs> <laughs> Masha. Like I said, to speed things up, to speed things up. Yeah. Yeah, so so we so said this is like this is like flour already. So okay. I'm just gonna be mashing this. How long you boil it for? I did this for about 15 minutes because okay. What happened is these breadfruit were turned already. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So it, you don't need much, right? Okay. So. So you mash the breadfruit. Yeah. Now you said this is a tradition. You could throw that into a blender. Or yeah, yeah. One? You could whip this. You could, um, you know, put this into a processor. Yeah. Oh you yeah. Could, food. The process. last time um, we had the Belkin had a cooking competition. I think the only cooking competition for this year which I won. Mm -hmm. So I'm the Belkin cooking champion. Oh, we look here, man. Right. <laughs> that was held at the bar. Yeah. And I instead of beating um plantain, uh -huh. they said the matter, they the matter shake, Hannah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. That, that plantain going down. So when I haul out the I roast the breadfruit, yeah. peel that up, throw that in at the mata and beat that. Beat that. You know? <laughs> so the punta music, DJ that. All right. All so right. Well, we are doing a flavor of this thing. I'll leave it now. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. We could put leave it at this here too. So make, to make things interesting. Yeah. And we could put leave put it in there. Cool. All right. And if we need to leave it a liquid, mm -hmm. we could always do that. Leave it a evap, right? Just to make things. Make it really pop, so. Like I said, breadfruit don't need much seasoning. So I just go ahead and leave it as salt. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. And then I have a flavored 
from here where we are used anyway. Okay. So my are like if I did. Yeah, it does look like how the battle would look for um yeah. <laughs> for and we're doing this like this, but I mean if you get this in at the right um, equ my, uh, kitchen equipment, yeah, yeah. you will uh, make this baby look just how you want. But we are on TV, yeah. And we just show off, leave it. With yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so, so that's why they call it breadfruit. You yeah. can turn it back into flour, right? And and do what you want. You know, okay. it won't rise like like bread like because bread. it's gluten free. But you can make flat bread. Okay. You can make cookies. Yeah. So from here you can. I don't know about breadfruit cookies, <laughs> and you know I love breadfruit. <laughs> All right. That's your next challenge. So, so, uh huh. See, uh, one thing I like over there, you know. <laughs> I know she go cook. She have bubble and she go in her bag. Cause you're just gonna cook on a powder pan, man. Wow. The pan so, comes there. Yeah. So so, put a little more. Mm-hmm. Watch out. We all this thing nice, you know. Mm -hmm. And that garlic be in there and everything. Yes. Uh, I gotta leave tell it more you, butter. this conch look pretty. Yes. Yeah. That that. I never sure about frying it up, but yes. this conch look pretty. And then, pretty. Where do you add a little curry to that? Ah. Uh, curry kongs. Curry kongs. Uh, curry kongs. Curry kongs. Right, right, we have saved half of the curry. Yeah, <laughs> 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 These All are two right. of my favorites to working with, you right. know. Yeah. And then, of course, if you want to put the cherries in at the in at the in at the mix All up, right. you, know, you could you do that. Can, you could do that. Manero. But I'm not sure who I'll eat spicy. I'm good with that. I mean, so, too. <laughs> so let's just finish up. All right. Okay. All right. And then. So once you mash the breadfruit, and you could see it, you know, when you showed the shot just now. Mm -hmm. the, it looks like the butter mm -hmm. that you. You can make. get this to how creamy you want. Okay. How thin you want yeah, it to how. Yeah, okay. just add in a little moisture to it. All right. Ah. So now, I want to. I just want to put this. Oh just like that. Gosh. Yes, man. Yes, man. Oh my God. So. So it becomes half done or. It comes. So basically, you could, if you if you know how to do nothing else. Okay. You could eat this right here. So you know, this will be. You put in the oil. Yeah. So. Now yeah, that's not cooked, not oil in it out. Yeah, because we also fry. Yeah, out, yes, they, 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 they say, you know, when, when coconut oil is good, that we can it behave like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, you squeeze you out. Squeeze the, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Squeeze out. Because we're going to be frying up some conks. All right. So that means you need a good amount of oil. All right. Mm -hmm. Help me All out right. there, so you know, I did at the plating station, you did at the working station. But you see what happened? At a distance. I like what some man likes it. This, this, this now only smell of cones. Yeah. You know, got cones essence. <laughs> <laughs> got, you got these cones. Cones pong, per square centimeter. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love so, it. So you need more oil? Yeah. I'm not sure how. You need more? Put, put as much oil and make it go fry up. I'm free in. Yeah. <laughs> we are out. Well, man, best thing we're going to try again. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see if we get, I guess we're going to, yeah, we got to cut it. Yeah. With Dexter. Yeah. Dexter work. Dexter will work. Watch that. Why this ball here? Yeah. Not even Dexter to work All with right. it. All right. There we go. The Sorry, one. Grace. We had to cut open. <laughs> 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 but we're doing it for. Yeah. Did it wake it up, man? Did it wake it up? TV okay. kitchen, okay. but you know that good thing because it gets hard up, yeah. So, you know, when I said I agree, I yeah. do good that evening, yeah. <laughs> all, right. All, right. all right, all right. So, I think we're gonna put them back there, okay. Cool. Right. So, this is what the butter looks like now, yes. Yeah, so, see how the butter they get there. Right? Mm. No, if, if you want it thinner than that, you know, you could always, like I said, just add a little bit, put a little bit more milk, more okay. Extra. Mm, go ahead. All right. Because people don't believe that bread you want to use. Yeah, yeah. People are the most think this out. Oh, okay. So we, we want to make sure we get that on the yeah, screen. So, bro. so this watch on that. Ah, uh, my gosh. Right. Thick. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Rich. Put my sauce one time. Uh, so, so, like uh -huh. I say, this this could basically this could fry just like this. Mm -hmm. But we were kind of excited up things, so we could do. Mm -hmm. This is this is crumb with. Cabano imported cheese, right? So breadfruit like cheese. Really? So, so everything <laughs> nicer with cheese. So okay, we are excited of this thing. And what we do, we just put a little bit there. Mm -hmm. All right. And so what we do, we just take a little bit of this butter. Yeah. All right. And we just put it there. Put it there. Yeah. And we just want to roll here in that. Okay. Well, well, you're not ready. Well, you're not ready to eat it, man. Mm. But all right. So we could get two out of this. Yeah. And then we'll just flip him. Flip I on. won't speed you up if you say cheese involved. So yeah. trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll wait yeah. for it. 
Oh my god. So like I say with, with us, you know, pretending oh, I believe it. My Make sure it god. is done. Hold on, so let, let, let's just talk about how this, this comforter gone from one. <laughs> Regularly comforter. Yeah. So, high tech. High tech. Fried conking yeah. butter yeah. with vegetables yeah. in mashed breadfruit, mm -hmm. mashed, uh, boiled breadfruit, yes. and now coated mm -hmm. in seasoned breadcrumb with cheese. Like I said, and if you want to enhance the flavor, mm -hmm. you can do the bread, your butter from the roasted, roasted. breadfruit. And so you're smoking. Oh man, so mm. we will wait and we do that, but well, we are, I don't know. The we TV are, kitchen. We, we are cut up pieces of this and just fry it to put as a side, Ooh. right? All right, so I think we're thing ready. Yeah, we're, mm -hmm. yeah, we're get so, there, we're get there. We're just put in. And there we go. Yeah, look mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like one festival and everybody's body. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We don't have a control because we don't want to burn down channel 5. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then so. Yeah, we need some more of that. Mm -hmm. Can I help you with over here? Yes, man. Okay. And like I said, these don't need to fry fast because I'm not going to have my gloves, so I just do everything. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's sticky, but then the, um, the butter, with this little, make it, make it go manageable yeah. too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. What look on the brownness on the one there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Look ready. Wee! Wee! Done, done. You got insurance? <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> All right. So, you know, all of them are coming out with a little bit of thing. So, we just want to put this put there. That there. All right. And all right. The conks me done kind of cook. pre cook. So, yeah. you know what? You leave everything me done saute up. And the breadfruit me actually done yeah, boil so, already. So, so, you're good to go. So, what's fun in there now? Oh, wow. All right. And you don't yeah. know every bite of there. Have him come. Uh -huh. Every square centimeter. But yeah. let me tell you something. <laughs> if somebody tries this at home, and even if they skimp on the conk, it's still nice. Yep, it's yep. like yep. breadfruit. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and they fry in a nice, delicious coconut oil. Mm, so yes. you got flavor. Yes. Flavor, top of flavor. All right, so. Okay. All right. So that that the thing right there. All right. Right. So yeah. that, that basically it. That's what that's what it's yeah, that's, that's what it's like. You know. And then, like I said, with us, what we are doing. This could go. I mean, you could dip it. You know, everybody got a different dip for yeah. Yeah, for their leaf fritters. So you could do you could do your um, blue cheese, your whipped cream, your whatever you want. Honey mustard. Yeah, but today um, we don't need to sample the sauces then. So, so let's yeah. do it. <laughs> so we are the sample sauce. So this one is that now. So this is the. Spicy orange, spicy orange, and this is me. I want to say flavored orange. We don't mean with use um, content like that real, real orange, real pineapple. It take a little while more. Mm -hmm. This is this is That's the original. This is the original sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. We we'll start the whole Obia session, mm -hmm. right? And then we came up with that cambran, mm -hmm. all right? So how do you come up so with the different flavors? You, yeah. yeah. Well, I just like work with fruits and roots of Belize, okay. so. Anything whether from the farm, I want I get my hand pan, I want to try practice with it and make something out of it. And the spice are from um, the habanero uh, pepper? Yes. Sweet. Yeah, so I so this sauce this sauce is a three stage. So you have to make you have to make this pepper sauce. Oh my god. You have to make the pepper sauce. Boy, they are the corn. Yes. Well, then you can't wait. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> From the start of the show. <laughs> <laughs> when we introduce no, your partner, they're like, whoa. So when, when, you, so when you release these, these are just coming then out They're just coming out. So oh. they're, they're not at all the stores are there, but I'm trying to go to each store. Mm -hmm. And even if they only had the original. Yeah, and let's, the, let's turn them for the, for the camera. So they could the camera yeah. to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's turn them. So whoa, all right. So here you got the whole lineup. The whole shebang is here. Mm. We got the original. We got the spicy orange. Okay. Mm. Yeah. We got the spicy pineapple, and we have the spicy cambra. Okay. And and Marlene, which one do you think can be the Belizean favorite? I, I always said that it's sweet and spicy. The original? The original. The original. A lot of people no into you know people um flavors. Some people into it, but. I find out that everybody like the so. You but say, people love tambra, and I yes. think this one going good too. The orange, the, the orange, they sell a lot because if you get a fried, I don't know if you don't know about orange chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. but when you put that sauce and that now, that just like you eat the, so you don't need that orange peel and this again, you get the orange right. real deal. Mm -hmm. All right, so. And what I left on the guys is a sample. Yeah. So, yes. so, so, Dan, you could, you could look at the sample. So, I want to try the spicy pineapple for sure. Ooh. 
while I fry up some more, because I know the um, <laughs> okay. Wallah Channel 5 that one I want after this, so I make, make a Ooh. continue work one time. Okay. So, no guys, so that's going to be the. So which one that which one is that? Mm. This are the pineapple. Okay, pineapple. Mm. Alright, That is delicious. Mm. I just always free to get burned. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of spice? No, mm. you know. Mm. Alright. This one, first of all, the fritters is delicious. Mm -hmm. I love that, man. I'm going to reach it. I number one. <laughs> yeah, I want to try that. The spicy orange. Every bite have a piece of conks. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, man. <laughs> conks per square mm -hmm. suit. Really so. Spicy orange. All right. All right. Mmm. -hmm. It tastes orange, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Where's so, time? you... If you if you glaze from the first bite, you glaze your chicken with that. I mean, mm. people use this thing in a beans, coleslaw, in mm. a their salad. People even eat them. I eat it with popcorn. So mm -hmm. that whole. All right. So that was the orange. So we go to Tan Brand. If no. you are not making your comforters with with breadfruit, you need to start. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and you see, you could you could save your breadfruit now. Month yeah, even. breadfruit season done from middle of September, and I still like, got a. When the customers and call them, I know that what are you to hide the breadfruit then? <laughs> <laughs> That's the original. No, original. Yeah. yeah. Let me try the camera next. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. All right. Well, I'm a big fan of the original. Yes, I am too. From but I was looking for, I was looking for a flavor, like a fruit flavor. So now mm. we're going to mm. the mm. spicy, the spicy what? Hmm. You know, try the top. Oh, yeah, the the hmm. hmm. that, that oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That's time we have worked to stop eating. <laughs> 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 we got early breakfast. Uh, everybody okay. wants to face my TV. So my God. This would be my favorite. Uh -huh. It's delicious. Uh -huh. This you taste orange from the first, from the first time you touch your tongue. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if people don't get in on this spicy tambran, yeah. Spicy tambran, spicy is orange. That delicious. Mm. I, my daughter said it tastes like the tambran sweet, like like. Well, people like exactly yeah. people like the tambran sweet. Oh. Mm. Uh -huh. And then when you like tambran sweet, that's it. I may also make mango, but that's when mango is in season. Yeah. You know, so whenever you see mango season, I don't have my label for mango, mango sauce. sauce already. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Can you mix up the sauces? <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we did. Alright. But so, it's not too hard to find out which is which. Yeah, because they all have their flavors. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Like so said, have you been making this already? Uh, or this is a new recipe you've come up with? No, no, I've been making this, but um, this is the time to, that I start making it. Well, because then um, um, breadfruit is all a season. The breadfruit is fresh, yeah. Yeah, so it's time consuming too, because then you got to boil, you got to do this, you got to do that. So mm -hmm. I do it when, it when it's, you know, the convenient time then. And an item come off the menu to make space for this. That's one thing in me. I, I don't believe in having a, a big, big menu. I mm. prefer to have a menu that I can control yeah. and give people fresh food every day. So you want to eat cherry with that thing? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So see, I, I have to blend that up and put that yes. in there. Yeah. The, yes. I don't know who th that has a little spice already. So okay. I, I just. But if you are making it like how I was doing it, you can dice up a little. Mm -hmm. and pepper and, <laughs> and put it in there and, and spice up your life you know mm -hmm. or leave, leave it a black pepper at least yeah so there, there we have it and i don't know what else so, <laughs> and this this is only this is only half a breadfruit because mm -hmm. this and was only all of those so and then so if you if, if you're making for the family everybody mm -hmm. can get three you can feed at least five people from With just half, half a breadfruit. breadfruit all right and then i think it was like um half pound of cones and then the little bit of stuff and yeah. those are optional yeah, yeah. You, you can just do it the traditional way and add garlic butter um you know a salt a little spice and and you have it you don't and have to go through all of, all of that put the bread food bread so what's gonna food, so what's gonna be on the menu at stone crab today no well like we right now we're doing one week um <laughs> one week sauce we're doing one week 
we're dedicating this week to sauce yeah. and then, and next, then week next week, week we do the restaurant oh, perfect, so perfect, perfect first i was trying to do both but it, it didn't work out so um right now we're doing one week for sauces and then next week everybody know the restaurant is so i know my the phone is blowing up people are calling us wanting their food because they hook you know, I eat for nowhere else, but um, <laughs> we also need to focus yeah. on the sauce because it's in stores. And then when they they're calling me saying the shelves are empty, yeah, you, you need to replenish. You need to replenish. Yes. Yes. So yeah. I need to make sure a week that I dedicate to uh, to having the stores tucked up, mm -hmm. and then the other week I can focus on the restaurant. So you said starting now, people will be able to find these in yes. the store yeah. as well. And the yeah. price? Um, I. These, these, um, you can get them in the stores. Uh, certain stores have them for about seven dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, some stores will have it for seven fifty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. that that's it the varies. price range. Yeah, okay. depends on their markup and, okay. and the area too. Yeah. yeah. Like PG will be a little bit more. Yeah. You know, um, San Pedro might be a little bit more. But anywhere in Dangriga, Belize uh, City, uh, Santa Elena, it's around between seven and seven fifty. Okay. Yeah. So and then with, with one of these if you buy a five pound um wings if you're doing wings this i made this i using this side mm -hmm. this this goes perfect with a bag of um five pound wings so if you're doing a wings night <laughs> five pound of wings to one of these and it's perfect i did wings last night did not stop <laughs> no matter you didn't use no well, matter no matter yes well, i used the, the original oh. but i love the orange i love the tamarind yeah. which one is your favorite uh, no i won't say i, I, I want to hear from people I, which one they want to yeah. try mm -hmm. So, all right so there we go mm, mm, mm. but what do we call these you can't call it kung fritter you can't no, call it bread fruit fritter well i call it bread fruit kung fritter <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right but if you want to get a name marlene i got no problem with that because you're good at that <laughs> <laughs> you can't start charging it you, you, you got everybody to call me bread fruit king or bread fruit ah, master oh, that's that's man yeah. that kind of thing i got so many names now i know i give up this you 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 <laughs> i've got trademark me and all. all right yeah well guys like i said there's so much you can you can do with bread fruit um i am always advocating the use of breadfruit mm -hmm. um i think we have um i'm supposed to be doing something with william neal soon mm -hmm. uh with regards to food sustainability yeah. and nice. that type of thing so i'm looking forward to that and um you know i'm showing Belize, my belizeans what they can do um so if the shop turn out a flower we have breadfruit yeah, bread shop run out. we have planting we have cassava we have banana yeah we have everything we live in a beautiful country yeah. abundance of fruits and roots and that we can use mm -hmm. and make it exciting and know? this is great for people who yeah. who are trying to stay away from flour because they can still get their definitely fruiters. definitely i i had worked at um restaurants where uh guests come in and all they want their entire three four days is bread fruit mm -hmm. just give them it in all different kind of ways yeah. you know um, and they're happy gluten-free and in a boat yes yeah, so um My goodness this is what restaurants need to start to adapt to give because when people come from from far they, they don't want potato fried because they get, yeah, that. They get that whole day yeah, yeah so let's give them a taste of belize and and use our traditional resources bread fruit. you know with 30 dollars i with thir i used to do uh uh, chef table and i would spend 30 dollars at the market mm -hmm. on 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 cassava planting with the breadfruit little seasoning then the guests would go fishing they would bring in their fish and i would prepare the fish in three or four different ways give them all the items all the nice sauces from mango pineapple everything oh man they go crazy yeah. you know they pay you well and they still tip you well because it's something yeah, different love it you're doing it right in front of them they're getting fresh plant you know the skin yeah they get it they're seeing how to do cassava they want to get involved and so that's what one of the things that tourists um come to belize and want to see yeah. they don't want anything out of freezer yeah. they want to go and get their fish from the sea and if you can show them a good combination with it at the restaurant yeah they, they love it Beautiful. they'll always give you good reviews and stuff like that all right. Tim, <laughs> we're so glad to have you in this morning. Yes. When we saw that on the on the on the two <laughs> <from> <laughs> my email, <laughs> and it says Tim Agatha, I said, "Good, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're going to show to them." Liam. <laughs> yeah. But thank you so very much for joining us, my yes. brother. It's always nice to have you in with all your culinary skills. This is always an A plus. All right, and we do encourage you to try out the new sauces. The original is already great. Yep. And, uh, you know, I think you're going to be surprised at how these extra flavors just give it oh, that man. kick. So uh, check it out. It is 
uh, in many stores across yeah. the country, across or the country. they can contact Tim August himself yeah, online. Yeah, my number is uh, 673-0706, um, uh, or they can look me up on, on Facebook as Tim Obia Sass August, <laughs> 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 or look up Stone Crab Bar and Grill. Um, today I'm sending samples to Key Cocker, mm -hmm. so um, I, 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 I'm pretty sure they will they will call me back, so look out for it um, pretty soon on the island of Key Yeah, yeah. You know? and, and one final thing, the good thing about these now, you don't have to refrigerate them. No, you can no, actually no. just lift that out. Correct. I, I use um, uh, Moringa um, seeds, which mm -hmm. uh, Moringa seeds you can use to purify water. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. As, so with this, any bacteria that is in there, that takes care of that it. Takes mm -hmm. care so, of it. You know, I put an adequate amount of, of um, that in there as a natural preservative. Yeah. And I always share that uh, um, idea with other young entrepreneurs that, that want to make a product <laughs> because that that has been the concern of a uh, store and, and store owners. Yes, that oh, they how want long to last on the yes, shelf. They, yeah. yeah. they want to buy from Belizean, um, but because they buy from them one time and then the product doesn't move fast enough, probably spoil on the shelf. They spoil on the shelf and then everybody is at a loss yeah. so i try to promote myself i go in front of the shops and i do that wings and i make, let people try the sauce you know i go if i see a bottle bent or a label not looking good i change it yes. so i you got to do all of that so i'm encouraging entrepreneurs yeah. if you have a product in the stores you have to, you just not because you have it in the stores at the end of it you got to go and babysit that product help yeah. help yeah. to get it off the shelf yeah. And you also for, for us as, yeah. as uh, consumers, though, we gotta Definitely. we gotta buy the Belizean products as well. You just uh, you know people may may walk past yeah. the sauce, not know about it, and yeah. they don't know yeah. that they just missed out on their new favorite sauce. Definitely. Yeah. And and yeah. another thing, sometimes people are told no one time and they give up. I was told no by Quality Poultry three times, mm -hmm. and just Monday they finally I got it. Mm -hmm. Publix they finally took it. Yeah. You know, um, idiot finally took it. So I know doesn't mean no for me no the next opportunity <laughs> correct yeah. so I, but you know what when i when they tell me no i go and i come back with a different game yeah i come with flyers i come with i don't take one bottle i bring the whole tree <laughs> you know like serious you know i i am ready to i'm ready to leave this entire tree with you yeah. for two weeks yeah and then if it doesn't sell then and then i know that if they take it i'm the one that got to tell my friends and tell everybody go buy it, go go buy it and right. get me in there and yeah. i go front of the store and give a small bottle if you buy a big one i give you a small one free and we empty the shelf Easy. you impress the owner they give you a reorder mm. that's how you gotta do it you gotta yeah. you gotta be smart all so, right thanks again for having me it's always, always nice bro you know you wanna... welcome home <laughs> so just in case because you hear we call it um obia sauce that that's it's uh it's alias it's Correct. actually stone crab wing sauce yes but that's what you're gonna look for they say i need to change the name because it's too it's too well, like everything sauce <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right all right guys thank you tim always nice buddy we need to jump on into these uh these uh yeah look she got in the plate you know, just like that yeah. we're gonna take a break when we come back we'll be wrapping things up stay with us we'll be right back <laughs>